Welcome Hello, back. everyone. And welcome back to the Banjo Kazooie Let's Play. And now we're on part four. Yep. Now, this is actually one of my favorite levels in the game, minus the race with the bear, but you'll see what I mean when we get to it. Yep, this level is great. Oh, we already got 200 eggs, don't need to worry about that. Yep. Now, we want to come back into there because there's going to be three presents that we're going to need to find this level for them to grab it to get a jiggy. Nope. You caused that to yourself, buddy. Who, who needs your help? Yeah, and he's got a jiggy if you help him up, so... Well, we'll get that in a minute. Yeah, we'll do that in a bit. So, yeah, um... Oh, yeah, so about the ice level, where have we got here? Well, we've got a lot of good traps and some really cool ideas, great music, great scenery, and I'm a sucker for snow levels, so, yeah. <laughs> so that one guy on Twitter is always, like, tweeting about uh, video games with rain. You're all about the snow levels. Yeah, I'm always into the snow levels. Just feels very Christmassy and very kind of a cosy feeling. I'm obviously, I wouldn't want to be there because it's cold, but it's a very cosy feeling when I'm playing it. <laughs> Which is ironic when it's involving snow. Yeah, exactly. That's the one. That's why. That's what's funny about it. <laughs> nice one, goggles. He's clearly wearing glasses. Yeah, he is. Goggle glasses, that's my brain. I'll happily tell you, Kasui, that goggles and uh, glasses are very different. Oh yeah, they are. I should know, because I read, uh, read Splatoon. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh yeah, Splatoon. I, I've played Splatoon 2 on the uh, Switch, which is really good. Yeah, I, I remember uh, playing a bit of Splatoon 2. I haven't like gone around to like doing the story mode yet. I've been mostly doing the multiplayer section. Yeah, that's what most people jump into, don't they? Now what we've got to do is we've got to take out these snowmen, the hats, because for some reason their hats kill them. Now this is the awkward part. You do the attack, but you got to make sure you're lined up perfectly, otherwise you'll miss them. And try not to get hit. Yeah. <laughs> like that. That's what I mean by it being awkward. There so what I try and do is get close to them, so that way you won't miss them. <laughs> yeah, and this is where you become an eel as well, I believe. Ah, more, more oh, No, sorry, not magic. an eel. Yeah, a warus. So I think it was a warus, yeah. You'll see what I mean, a warus. Okay, so what we do is we're going to take out more of these snowmen first because we're going to get this tricky part because this is one of the trickier parts of the stages. Ah. I'm going to get this one out of the way. Yeah, I recommend doing get close range because I used to try and do it from a further range and it was much harder. Yeah, you get missing. Yeah, exactly. Especially when he does that throw animation. That's how much easier it is if you do it that way. Oh, you're not going to get the help ups from those. I'm going to take out the snowman first then and concentrate on that. They don't shoot you out of the sky first. Yeah, that's it. There you go. All done. Nice. That's how you make it much easier, trust me. It's a lot easier if you do it that way. But yeah, it's pretty. It's it's quite a big level, but it's mostly big when you climb up to the top, so it's not too big, which is what I like. The music's great, the scenery's great, the gameplay's pretty fun for the most part. So yeah, definitely one of my favourite levels in the game. It's probably my top three. Oh, top three. Yeah, it's probably my second favourite next to the second level because I've always had a soft spot for this level. The only thing I'm not too keen on is that race, but that's about it. <laughs> the rest yeah, of it, I can see why. 
But it's really hard to do, it requires a lot of jumping and precision, even with the speed shoes. Let's fly, let's fly away. Let's fly to space. It's like it's gonna fly into outer space. <laughs> <laughs> I should do that, I have an infinite amount. Oh, they got lucky. Oh, they did. Seriously, I recommend attacking with Kuzumi's beak there, it's much easier. Yeah, it allows you to break the ice, as it were. Yes. Oh, I'm remembering that pun from that pun from the, the that movie with Arnold Batman Schwarzenegger. And Robin. Yeah, and Batman and Robin. What killed the dinosaurs? The icy. <laughs> All right, everyone, chill. Yes. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger awesome. is Mr. Freeze. It's just hilarious. Hilarious. That movie is so terrible, but it's so funny at the same time. At least it's not like. At least that one's like you know self original funniness as opposed to say. You know, Batman Returns, which was pretty god awful. I know, I know, I don't think I've ever watched that one. Uh, it, it's essentially like if you took like the very dark undertones of like uh, the first Batman movie in A9, you know, the one with Jack Nicholson's Joker. Yeah. That one goes a little too far in the other direction. Yeah, I imagine so. It gets really uncomfortable to watch at times. Batman Returns. Yeah, I've, I remember Batman Begins. I remember the original Batman, which was good. The you mean the Adam West show? Well, I remember there was a, no, there was an actual Batman movie called Batman. Oh, that's the 1989 one. Though. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. Was yeah, that was good. the one I was just talking about earlier. Yeah, I like that one. I think the Dark Knight trilogy is a uh, pretty good. <laughs> M minus uh, Batman's growly voice, like you could have done it without that. Yeah, but at the same time, I don't think it's the Holy Grail that like people claim it to be. Even though I do think it is a good movie set. Fair enough. Yeah. Right. So let's uh, come back to the top of the snowman and see if there's more stuff to collect up there. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to jump on that slide just yet. Yeah. Okay. So that's a, this is a really big snowman, isn't it? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna come up. Here you go. Whee! Now remember that guy with the stomach? Ah. Uh. Yeah, that's the guy we're gonna be racing as well for another jiggy. Damn it! We just revived him, and now we have to do the damn race. Oh no, I just stopped you in the middle of your slide. Yeah, that's funny. Do your hop, slide down. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, you got love when games do that. I mean, it's like earlier when you were like in the piranha infested water and you picked up the piece. Didn't get damaged whatsoever. Yeah, that's very true. Okay, now we're gonna actually I may as well do this now. Because you notice there are belly buttons on the Oh I'm getting past button. You notice the belly buttons there? Yep. We're gonna attack them to get the next jiggy. Aha. Uh -huh. So it does there is a bit of puzzle solving here because you're not blatantly told where the jiggies are. But it does give you hints and indications with these targets here, so it's not like Yeah. It, it's not like some puzzles out there where they expect you to somehow figure it out on the pure logic. Yeah, exactly. Looking at you, Indiana Jones games on the fucking Atari. Yeah, exactly. We're gonna crash, matey, matey. <laughs> matey. Actually, I really like the flying controls in this game more than uh, Mario 64. Game. Yeah, you may mention that before. Because it's very awkward with Mario. Sometimes it's really hard to turn him. Hmm. Here, it's like it feels very fluid when you're moving Kazooie around. I've got half the notes already. Yeah, 50 out of 100. Now the rest of them are all stuck under the water, which you can't even touch. Until I transform into that animal. A walrus. 
Yeah, a walrus. Once I transform into a different animal, I will be able to. Okay. Actually, I may as well do the Christmas tree now. On that. So with the Christmas tree, you gotta like push the present underneath it. Well, no. There's gonna be bulbs popping out of it. Can I talk to you? Yeah, I think that's much done. There you go. Ah. You gotta try and get the light bulbs in there within a time limit, and you've got to make sure they avoid the little things that are going to pop up the hole. So you got to try and take these out. And they're all timed as well. Oh, that's lovely. There's always a set time when they jump out as well. Yeah, very fast. I don't like that sound they make. Oh! <laughs> Oh no! I don't think we're gonna do this one. No, I don't think so, no. Close. Oh, never mind, we did it. Just in the yeah, nick just of time. Yeah, just in time, just in the nick of time. We had like three seconds left on yeah, the Yeah, that, that, that part's pretty tricky. We did it, though. Now what do we do? We gotta fly into there. And a time limit. Oh great, another time limit. No, this one ain't too bad actually, because all you gotta do is just fly through it three times. You. Yeah. He's like, oh, thank God, I'm not going to be grabbed. So then I go back and grab it. Yeah. Yep. So you may, like I said, you may want to grab everything. So there was, there were times where I thought, nah, I didn't need those red feathers. You, you may want to grab everything you see. That's yes. the best way to go about it. Those feathers will definitely help. Yep. Especially in the next level with the desert. With Gobi's Valley. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're already full out on there. You don't need that many. Merry Christmas, you two. <laughs> yep. I <laughs> love the way he climbs down there, it's fine. Okay. Half a jiggy's already. Now I'm gonna fly over to that long pathway up there to grab all the rest of the notes. Gets me over there quicker if I do it that way. Oh. You see, you can not as that big attack. You can usually get far, further, really far into the area you want to get to. So I'm to glide over there slowly. Plenty of red feathers here to grab as well. While we're at it. Oh, 
I think we forgot about you, Mr. Red Feather. Okay, that's that done. That was the easy part. Now we gotta find what the rest of them are. Yeah. Yeah, I've got all the, all the presents now, so I may as well go back and give the presents to the little kids. Actually, Banjo doing something thoughtful for a change. So oh, he's willing to give presents back to a bunch of children, yet he wants to hit a poor camel <laughs> in the back. Wait, that hasn't happened yet. <laughs> yeah, because he actually hits a camel in the back. I'm just thinking, God, Banjo, I don't even know what to make of you. Are you a good person or are you a bad person? <laughs> Chaotic neutral. Yeah, he's a neutral, like Scorpion from War Combat. <laughs> Then, but okay. Yeah, got lucky with the fall damage. Yeah. I think it's handled better than Conquest did. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because I still remember you falling those slightly and you took damage. That was just ridiculous. Yeah, I know. Oh, time for the racing. No, that's that's the finish line for the race actually. Oh. Yeah, this is the uh, finish line. I'm just grabbing some bits here. Now, we can't get in because of that. So we have to become that. We have to be turned into the worst. Okay. So let's transform into one shot. Yeah, we got enough. Yeah, we only need the yellow one. I'm looking at the Jinjos, we need the yellow one. And one of them, I definitely know where it is. It's in the, uh, where the Warriors is at. I should really grab that. That looks like a honeycomb on top of it, doesn't it? <laughs> it did. Yeah. I don't think there's any way into these houses. No, I'm just checking to see if there's anything around here. Because this is where we can go to use that. Oh, yeah. I forgot, I forgot about the flight thing. Yep, so now we can... Oh, there it is. I think that's where it is, isn't it? Come on, pop in. Moment of truth. Yay! Hey, it's a one up. Okay. I was hoping for a ginger, but okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. I think it might be the, the ginger one might be in the cave. Or something. Oh no 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 no! It's up here. Oh, never mind. Yeah, it is. Every time it does that whistle noise, and it goes help, means you. That's where it is. Now only the orange one left. Yeah, and trust me, those things are gonna help you with the final boss. It becomes a fucking badass actually. See, look at that, don't have to worry about the war now. Yep. And you have unlimited breath too. Well, so you did as the crocodile as well. Yeah. You did. I'm just saying it is for this as well, which is good. I, I, re I remember the next one, it's definitely you becoming a bee. 
and you get to hover without having to worry about your feathers going away. If we have to pollinate a fucking flower, I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I'm saying that because, like, you know, what happened at the second episode of Conquer? Yeah, I remember that, yeah. That's quite an iconic moment, isn't it? In more ways than one. <laughs> Indeed. A very different kind of thing. <laughs> a very different. Different approach. Yeah. Place to get you all these tokens as well. You notice there's a shit ton of things to collect in there. Yeah. And I know some people might not be, be a fan of that sort of thing. Yeah, I mean, some people don't like collector funds because of that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm the ugly bear. And I'm going to... Come back here, you insulted me. <laughs> yeah, we're going to beat you down with our flippers. Yes. Fear my wrath. Oh, hello again, Mr. Warhorse. Feel free to have a look around and steal my shit. Yeah, I like the fact that I'm taking stuff from this, his, his home and yet he's not doing anything. You gotta love it in games when you can, you're free to walk into people's homes and take their stuff and they don't complain one bit. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> yeah, you're more than welcome to come into my home and steal my things. Ugh, these games. I think that's all of the honeycomb pieces, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So I had to worry about them then. Yeah, the last two were the race ones. One where you race as the Warus, and one when you race as Banjo Kazooie. Yeah. I just gotta find the um, last Jinjo, which is at the top there. So now all I've gotta do is turn back into the bear of Doom, and then climb up there. And it gets funny because he's like, "Hey, what are you doing in my home?" The only downside to this is that he moves really, really slow. Oh yeah, well I mean, you are a warrior, so it's to be expected. Yeah. If I was Kazooie running on feet, I'd probably be over there by now. Exactly. Eek! The bear again! Nice. Oh, there's a key back there. Yeah. Now that... Believe it or not, in the N64 version, that key does nothing at all. Because apparently what Grey were trying to do they were trying to use this mode where you gain a key and certain eggs and then you got to do, go online and post these things and whatnot, but the N64 didn't have that technology. So until the Xbox Live version came out, they implemented that. Oh. So it was something that Rare wanted to do with the N64, but they couldn't. So they just left the room there instead of just making it a solid brick wall. Yeah. Because, yeah, <laughs> basically. Come on, Rare. Why would you leave that there and, like, tease everyone? Yeah, that's Rare, yeah. Well, no, no developers, bad facts, though. We all make mistakes. Oh, no. Oh, no, the fucking note. I'll have a look for that one, then. Oh. I'll do the race first. Right, so I'm going to have to do the small race first, then the big race. <laughs> we forgot to do that. Yep, we did indeed. See, no one's perfect. That was, that was brilliant! Yeah, that was brilliant, wasn't it? That was brilliant, actually. Just 
just just walk in. Yeah, just yeah. Sometimes that will happen as a just a joke, as a joke. It's always randomized. It's very rare for that to happen, but it happened. When you transform, when you, every time you transform, you obviously turn into the animal, don't you? Yeah. But sometimes there's a random gag. It only happens on a rare occasion when you turn to a washing machine. Ha <laughs> ha. Rare occasion. Yeah, it's a shame that Red don't really do that much games now, do they? Because I, I heard that most of the company went back pretty bad, actually. Well, the company didn't go bad. It was basically they had less staff on and things got more difficult. Yeah, and then they like got... Microsoft bought them and then they had a lot of money. So, yeah, gone to waste. But I always think Rare's highlight was probably the N64 era. I think most people would say that. Mm, yeah. Now, this race is... This is easier than the one with Banjo-Kazooie, I tell you that. This is easier than the Banjo-Kazooie one. This AI, this guy and his AI is so brutal. You'll see what I mean. I found myself having to jump when racing this guy. It may not seem bad now, but trust me, he'll, he'll just shoot right ahead. I found myself having to jump on racing this guy. That being said... See what I mean? How he's very close to overtaking me all the time. You bah! I think I might have a chance. I might. If I keep doing this. This is fat stomach that's in the way. That's the problem. Oh. No! <laughs> no, I lost. I think I've lost. Yeah, I lost. Wait. Unless... It's his fat stomach that gets in the way. Oh, oh. Jesus Christ. It's his fat stomach that gets in the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, move your fat ass out of the way. <laughs> move your fat fucking ass. <laughs> Okay. Right, now on to the more difficult uh, right. scene section. Yep, so I'm going to turn back into Banjo, and then once I've done that, I'm going to search around the level for the last night. Yeah, do that first before we do the scheme. Yeah, a lot easier if we do it that way. We can move like a normal person. Indeed. <laughs> and by normal person, we speed around like we're Sonic the Hedgehog. Yep. Kazooie. Kazooie the Phoenix? Possibly? Hmm. I always thought that was just a bird. Well, I mean, they're, they're different types of birds. You got like swallow, like wave the swallow. So I imagine it'd be some sort of bird type. Yeah, she does kind of look like a phoenix. Now this is the race I was talking about. This one's a lot harder, trust me. Without the speed shoes, you will lose all that. <laughs> even with even with them, it seems it's going to be hard. Oh yeah, you just you watch. <laughs> Yeah, I see how much further ahead he is already, and I'm just running. And that's with you with the speed boots in here, oh god. Oh no! What the fuck? 
You're not trying back there. Oh, now he's just taunting you. Mm -hmm. It's his fat stomach blocking the way. That's the problem. Oh, oh, come on! See what I mean? It's his fat stomach blocking the way. <laughs> uh, let's try again. I like that. No. Well, at least you don't lose a life for that. No, you don't. Yeah, you don't have to worry about that. I'll just send you back here. Yeah, you'll try and cheat, won't you? The hell? The problem is, I want to jump over him, but I can't because, his, again, his fat stomach blocks the way. <laughs> it's his body that blocks the way. Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, well. Oh, my God, damn it. <laughs> okay. It's too easy. I'm giving up. <laughs> mm. I like, oh, look at Banjo. He's just like. He's just petrified about what's just happened. <laughs> so petrified, in fact, he's not taking damage from the water. He doesn't care about the damage from the water. He's so petrified. <laughs> but what just happened? All right, okay, okay, focus. This is a pretty tough thing to do. This is pretty tough, I'm not gonna lie. It's when he knocks you off the cliff. Because he just randomly shoves something up his ass that makes him move quicker all of a sudden. Probably one of the, got one of those shrooms from like Mario Kart. Yeah. Like, like he's literally shoving something up his ass. Let's, let's see, look. I mean, look at that. Well, like you're the one not trying. Well, he's cheating, bastard. Come on, come on, come on. Damn. Oh, thank god. That could have been worse. But we beat him. <laughs> if you'll fall off that cliff, was pretty funny, right? <laughs> anyway, he was just sulking. <laughs> there you go, Banjo. I just cured your depression there. <laughs> <laughs> it was depression of falling into cold water. Yep. Okay, at least we've got all the jiggies now. Now before we leave, we need one more... Yeah, we still need to find that last node. Yeah. Probably the longest stage so far. Out or something. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I can just say fuck it. <laughs> Let's just get to the exit and then go back in and grab it again. Okay. Because I'm pretty darn sure it was here somewhere. Because I looked everywhere. We did. We looked in every bloody location. <laughs> okay, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> Palmy doesn't want to give up, but I have to. Well, we're not, we're not giving up. We're just, like, going back in and resetting the notes so we can go find them again. Yeah. It's only that one that you have to find, though, don't you? Yeah, fuck this, I give up. Oh, no, yeah, I give up. I give up. Let's go. We'll come back for it another time.